in honor of the Corpus Christi, in honor of the readings of one together in Christ. The reflection today is called All Together in Christ. Those different from us, we have been trained by culture to think of as dangerous, unwanted, and even unworthy. This is a part of habituation of the culture, effectively training us if we alter the training to say different is merely different. There is no value attached. Imagine how differently our world is run and how everyone would to behave. Refugees are not immediately suspect, but offered a place of safety and then asked about the reason for their trip and helped along the way. Conflicts in the street don't automatically have a winner and a loser. We must first separate and then ask all what happened. Let us also talk about ourselves, as we may come into conflict with our neighbour, or at times with our relatives, differently. Now, because different and other is not immediately suspect, and self or known is not immediately accepted, we must investigate each and every situation, rather than going on our first impression and gut instinct. How many hostilities exist within families because of the jumping to rapid judgment instead of using the principles of Christianity to guide us? Review with love. Accept all not on faith, but as equals in front of God, and as each speaking from his or her soul. For if an untruth were spoken, it is not for us to balance that injustice with the great, true judge. Enemies are also those who speak ill of us, who defame us and do us harm. It is not easy to digest this, that they suffer their recompense from God, and it be far greater than anything we mere humans can do. So forgive the trespass, cleanse yourself, and move on. We are called to respond to each of them with good, which also has strategies inspired by love. Later this week will be the great gospel of an eye for an eye is no longer the policy, but turn the other cheek. I write of this today because we are brought to this today. Earlier we have talked about the translations of the Bible, how bias can hurt, as those translations had hate written into them, because some of the translators putting themselves in judgment of what was written. In some versions of the Bible that were just translated from the original Aramaic to the ancient Greek, that was what the bias of the monks entered first, making all of the women disappear, except for the Virgin Mary, and others that they could not disappear, like the high-born Mary Magdala. They turned her into a whore for 15 centuries. In the translation from the ancient Greek to the ancient Latin were added moral biases against, against sexual promiscuity and homosexuality. The original writings of the Bible do not have condemnations against homosexuality as the modern Bible does. But remember that we also have now charges not of the Old Testament and the ancient covenant, but of the New Testament and of Jesus Christ. His blessed covenant of love and acceptance of all persons. God loved all persons as well but Christ made it the foundation of the Christian church, named for him. Jesus Christ does not exclude anyone from his community, from his love, or from salvation. Should any pastor, preacher, 
minister, bishop, or anyone ever say otherwise. They are not teaching the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let me say that again. Jesus Christ and all who minister in his name must accept all persons into the church as a part of his covenant of blood and body. Nowhere in love one another as I have loved you is their exclusionary language. Nowhere in take this and eat of it. This is my body given up for you. Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. This is the new covenant, accepting of all persons, so that every person, gay or straight, black or white, tall or short, divorced or married, single, fat, thin, transgender, murderer or thief, cannibal, fraudster or robber, all sinners, all people are acceptable at the table. So long as they accept Jesus Christ as the true Savior of the world, work to repent from sin and confess that sin remorsefully to God. If any who represent him or herself as the representative of God, but deny anyone Christ or access to a place anyone in association with Jesus, even or including a job working in the church or at a school or any such thing. This person is not a true minister of Jesus Christ, but an antichrist, and that person must be brought down as an antichrist. A minister who falsely preaches or who has lost his or her faith and ministry and starts preaching of the Old Testament and the Old Covenant is not a representative of Christ. Remove them from the altar where they harm others and they are likely to injure souls. Save the sheep of the flock from the false shepherds. Save the sheep and get a true shepherd of Christ. They will know the voice of the true shepherd, for there will be no hate in him or her. She or he will be clean of heart and pure of spirit, called by the Lord to protect and lead his flock, accepting all to the flock, just as he did. Praise God for his love and acceptance of all people. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God.